You know what time it is, man. Class is in session. Come with your brain. Leave all distractions at the door. Spiritual soul in the building. Geyser, geyser. Nature soul in the building, man. Simple. Geyser, geyser. In the building. Dewey so in the building. Glasses so in the building. Smooth skin so in the building. Facial hair so in the building. You already know we in the building, man. Sample. So as soon as I come out here, now all of a sudden. But listen, I ain't gonna go through there. I ain't gonna go through that. Cactus so in the building. So listen, I'm up here on the mountaintop. I'm chilling. Nah, that's lit. Like scooter right there. Nah, that's as lit. Y'all probably can't see it. It's right there. Hopefully y'all can. But look, I gotta say something real quick and I gotta hurry up and record this video before. I'm gonna try to keep it in the shade because my phone be getting that thermometer. It be freezing instantly. Facts. But look, not freezing, it just- Phone is hot. It's too hot, bro. Y'all yeah. know what the fuck I'm talking about. But look, look on my scooter. <laughs> Got my scooter. <laughs> nah, having, having a electric scooter nowadays, tough. Bro, when I was at the lake today, these dudes, they, they were riding their bikes, but one dude had an electrical scooter flying past these niggas. <laughs> I, I stopped. I said, yo, bro, what happened? Buddy said, man, my fucking chain broke, bro. My, 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 you know, my chain fell off, and he had to, like, wait to get, you know, in front of other people to, like, fix his chain. My brother, that's your scooter just, mmm. Nigga just taking off. It's just fast. We out here. <laughs> Gazer. Gazer. Gazer in the building. So listen, my phone over here. You watch the in seven? Bro. Damn. And it's almost getting cooler down here in Arizona. Y'all know I'm down here in Egypt, bro. It's <laughs> almost getting a little cooler, so I'll be able to get videos back outside again, bro. My phone overheated instantly. Now, let me tell y'all where I stopped at. So basically, I like sitting down, it's, it's, it's easier. Yeah. So look, it's a guy, and this goes for anybody who on, bro, right now it's a lot of very, very, very sensitive people on social media. Very and much so. the more so. you take breaks from social media and come back, you notice how easily triggered everybody is. You can send somebody love, and you look at the replies of somebody complaining about you sending them love. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? If that ain't some of the... <laughs> like you can't even send love no more to people. It was a guy, a random guy that I helped in the past when I was like uh, keeping y'all updated on my semen retention journey and stuff like that. Okay. It was a random guy that I had helped. I stayed consistent with him. You know, he was updating me. And when I returned and I posted that video... I think it was probably like Patreon shit he had. I think, I think I remember that. He had like a Patreon, one of the Patreon members that like paid to... Do one on ones with him and talk to him and just uh, help him personally, intimately get his life in check. You know, maybe he's probably talking about one of that. This guy basically was saying I'm basically like not the same no more. You you should start doing this. You should start doing that. You talking about you about to do this, but you should start posting more spiritual vids and you should do this and maybe you should do that and. One of the things y'all got to understand, it's okay for you to give your opinion on Do we do we know him? When you're doing it in a hateful way or get try to give somebody advice. What's up accusation? In a hateful way like you above them, like you like on this particular level. And then at the same Well, scratch this. I know I know what you about to say. Let's let's add on, right? Cuz we we there with it. Let's add on. So, when it comes to certain people and it's why I never come at certain streamers or YouTubers in, in that light because I could really, I don't, I'm not in it to really circumvent like what's going on in somebody else's community, right? But think of it like this. This is why I speak so highly and so intensely about other people's quote unquote communities, cults, if you will. Like, these streamers don't be having actual women. Not I'm not talking about these little straggling ass hoes. They don't have, and this, this is one of the things that I be talking about that y'all remember. These communities of streamers don't be having women 
inside their community. You feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of lacklustered sheep, aimless sheep, and they do not know or are not aware how to make decisions on their own. If the crowd, if the crowd is saying to do two things, they're going to do two things, the followers from that community. So let's definitely add on to that. So be saying some real shit, then you follow up with some dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep, you're right. Same time contradicting everything you saying to the person you bro. Listen, this motherfucker, I helped him. This dude had a, a, a porn addiction, all type of shit, right? He was talking about this. I goes, I had to lurk this, this fucking random. I goes, <laughs> and there was something that happened. Where I was to been giving all these these girls. Uh, herpes or something. Uh oh. His name Gucci or some shit. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, shit. Let me get my fucking herky jerky. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go again. Oh, my God. <sighs> Gu Gucci apple bottom. Gucci apple bottom trunk leg. All right. Let's see. Oops, 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 oops. Fuck, I'm doing too much. His name Gucci or some shit? Gucci oh, Durr. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. I don't really know too much. But basically, my guy called himself spiritual. And I goes, his whole Twitter feed is just him bashing and complaining about thoughts. Bro. Okay. Wait. I'll is it him? Wait. Is him? Is uh, Gu Gucci Gucci? Or is it some... Wait. Okay. Let me... My guy called himself spiritual. And I goes, his whole Twitter... Gucci third Wait, stop, stop. And Twitter, and Did I miss something? That happened with a guy who was supposed to been giving all these. Okay, it's something that happened. With, okay, so you're not talking about Gucci. Okay. These girls, uh, herpes or something. Uh -huh. I think his name Gucci or some shit. Gucci all right. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. I don't really know too much. But Neither do I. My guy called himself spiritual, and I goes his whole Twitter feed is just him bashing and complaining about thoughts, bro. That's, and they only do that because the amount of love that they have of themselves. You you can't even get a thought, dumbass nigga. You can't even get a thought to love on your stupid ass. And we know it's fake love. It's not real. It's, it's just it's just figmentated. And yeah, I just said figmentated. I just came with a word, nigga. How you like that one? You like that? Put that in your fucking vocabulary. But if you can't even get a love, if you can't even get fake love from a thought. No wonder you're speaking on thoughts and all women. You can't even get both, stupid motherfucker. <laughs> I'm wondering to myself, like, bro, you just sent me all this. You're on this high level. Why are you focusing on hoes? You're supposed to be at a level to where none of this shit is triggering you. Like, why are you focusing on all this low level? Why are you bashing really? women 24-7? Why are you doing this? And, and I kept going down. All he do is complain about women. Oh, shit. And then I remembered. Feminist. Still addicted to. <laughs> most of stuff, bro, listen, most of the stuff people get triggered. Most of the time they trigger, they mad at you. They mad at they fucking self. That's it, bro. Most people ain't. Bro, like for example, you can be fat. A person is. It's it's a particular person. You could be. And they gonna have the smallest percentage of the world of an excuse to blame themselves or or explain to somebody else on why they're fat and their preconditions and their Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. A healthy fat person. Look. You can be on your shit. Right. You can be literally doing, taking care of your family, living a good life. Right. But it's people that always come around judging you. Do you know they only judging you because maybe when they was little, they got teased because they was fat? It ain't because they want to see you get healthy or nothing. No. Nah. This shit is deeply rooted inside their shadow. They inside their motherfucking self. Yep. They ain't done no shadow work or nothing. Yep. They just judging everything. Getting triggered by everything. Everything triggers them. They judging you because maybe they mama was fat. Huh. It's something deep inside of them that they because it's other people that love you for who you are. They we ain't judging you at all. We not. You we not. You can still help. You still giving me knowledge. You can still got deeper love. I understand on a deeper level. You probably chose this. Your higher self probably chose this body so you can stay grounded and not be doing too much extra shit. Mm. It's a lot of people that's big 
who have the unlimited fucking knowledge. Well, that that is true. That is true. But it is levels, right? Because mind, body, soul is all connected. Like, for instance, me eating beef jerky right now. This is not the most purest, healthiest snack that I should be eating for my vessel. But my, but my mind, and it's also metaphysical and esoteric too, but my mind is getting nourished by the, the podcast I'm watching, the books I'm reading, the conversations I'm having outside of stream and with strangers, with my mom, with my dad, with, you know, with other people. I'm having nourishful, purposeful conversations that are elevating my mind, which is also elevating my soul. But I'm, let's say I'm, I'm eating fucking burgers and uh, some some fat ass steaks and cupcakes and a lot, a lot of glutton a lot of gluttonous ass foods that are not good for my vessel that can depreciate my knowledge give me brain fog and diseases and whatnot right we know that so the higher you go the more you start to you know withdraw from eating meat steak chicken. Shit, sometimes even fish. Like you don't you don't even feel the need to eat that shit no more. You just like smoothies, salads, greens, vegetables, you know, bowls, fruit, you know, fruit bowls and stuff like that. That's because that's what your energy and frequency has rise to. There you go. Power and energy. Vice versa. You could be a girl. Most girls be sending bashing girls online because they look better than them. Mm. Like, I know all these lives and everybody just fake, just just NPCs. All the lifestyles is fake. Ain't nobody really that happy, right? Exactly right. But what I'm saying is most girls be sending hate to girls because they ain't got no niggas in their height. They ain't, they, nobody fucking with them. Nobody checking for them. Most of the time, you don't care that she got a BBL. You just nope. know your shit little. Huh. Because it's people on the same level as you who are not bothered by none of this. At all. I know y'all heard the saying, most successful people ain't complaining about nothing that these people are doing out here. Another level to that. Well, on the same level to that. So we could also insinuate and say, <clears throat> losers only focus on one person. Winners focus on themselves. The person that losers focus on is the winners. The winners keep winning. The losers focus on the winners. Hence why they can never win. And you ain't even gotta be successful. You just secure it with yourself. My nigga, you could put me in a room with 30, with not trainees. <laughs> You must say trillionaire, but then Cheney. Cheney. <laughs> you put me in a room with 30, with the, not Cheney. You put me in a room with 30 succubus. You put me in a room with 30 succubus, I'm going to walk out laughing. <laughs> I'm going to walk out laughing with all my energy. Why? Because I'm at the point, bro, they, they don't bother me. I know what they're here to do, and yeah. I'm not a part of those men they doing it to. I'm secure with myself. Now, if you're talking about some training, I get it's certain stuff that's going to naturally just trigger you because it, it's going against nature. But mm. it comes a point in time you got to protect your aura field because when you mad, you're the only person that feel that mad shit. It's huh. coming from within you. Huh. The person you judging is other people that it don't bother them. And be very weary. Be very careful. We're hunting rabbits. Be very weary of the people who you're around who get triggered so very easily. If, cause listen, let's let's use it in a in a physical sense, right? Let's say somebody is actually trigger happy, right? And y'all go to the gun range, y'all start shooting. Their aim is terrible. Their aim is trash. Their trigger their trigger work bad. They just get in a drilling rush from shooting the gun. So you start to go to the gun range with them. And you learn how to shoot, you're gonna take their shooting habits because they've taught you how to shoot. 
But just because you know how to shoot does not mean you know how to aim. Because where's your target? Anybody can dream. Anybody can have ideas. But where is these ideas leading us? What's the blueprint? What's the end goal? What's the habits looking like to get this result? You don't know. So be very careful about those triggered people who live around you. We in the matrix. Your good is somebody wrong. Hmm. What you love, somebody hates. Huh. What brings you joy, happiness, and bliss brings other people trauma, pain, and misery. Huh. We in the matrix. You like fucking, right? Some people like killing people and it brings them that same energy you getting from us. Huh. Everything is not evolved around you. Huh. So you got to understand this. When you judging me and saying all this weird shit and then I'm going to look at who the fuck you are and all you do is talk about girls 24-7, it's because you can't control your lust, fucking spirit, addiction. to. That's why you mad at all the sex workers. Because if you were secured, they won't even be on your frequency or vibration. You won't know what they're doing. Bro, it's holes everywhere. I'm still on day 90. See me everything. Do you not see my glow? I was just in the sun. Like, bro. Do you see the glow? Do you <laughs> see the eyes? Nah, real shit. Nah, real shit. The eyes, eyes, yeah. Eyes are the seat to the soul, y'all. Real shit. Kudos, man. Kudos. That, you know, and of course, so has said multiple times, like, and I've said it too, like, don't count the days, make the days count. Like, you you keep counting day 50, day, day five, day all that shit. Man, just keep stacking them. Every day is day one. The same way, the same way he just said, what makes you happy makes somebody piss the fuck off. So every day is day one. Cause it's a new fight every day. Got my plants, man. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is this. Protect your energy from all these sensitive people online. Cause most people just projecting their damaged inner self to on you. Huh. It ain't, it ain't, you don't need to, bro, listen. If you on a, a certain level, you should be able to get put anywhere uh. and be protected. Uh. Like, bro, sometimes you gotta understand and overstand this matrix. The higher level you get, it's always gonna be challenges that come your way. You gotta, and if you yeah. easily trigger, you just gonna keep getting zapped and your vibration gonna just keep getting lower and lower and lower. Bro, imagine you being possessed every time you get triggered. Huh. Attention to when the trigger pop up and realize where it's coming from. It could be coming from a past life or some past life trauma. It could be coming from when you was a kid. Like, ask yourself, why are you so bothered by girls with BBLs? Huh. Why? And you a girl. What are they doing to you? Hmm. Oh, they making other girls get it. Fuck them. As long as it ain't your daughter or your mama, you shouldn't care. Get out of her life. If she want to walk around with some plastic tits, with some pla you know what I'm saying, some plastic cheeks, let her. Because it's other people who love it. Hmm. Some men prefer BBLs over the non-GMO organic. That's I insane. Mine's organic. That's but insane. That's real, that's real rap, though. That's real rap, man. <laughs> there are fucking squares out here that, yeah, yeah. Some men prefer BBLs over the non-GMO organic. I prefer mine's organic. Yep. But some dudes love them BBLs just as much as I love the organics. I understand and I understand that. Yeah. I can't control the way they think or what they love. But by me saying, man, I don't, I, man, a guy talk about, oh, her body is this, her body is that. Yet he's single and don't get no bitches. He just mad at the girls because he don't get no pussy. That's it. He don't get no bitches. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you. Most people are sensitive online about everything. You can't everything. Even send love no more. Everything. Everything. If a person getting too much love, here come the demons coming out. Oh, but but they such and such and such and such and such and such. Why are you why are you even like bro? Why are you even <laughs> Well, they have to latch on to something, you know? Cause then they would really feel lifeless. Like flies. Flies only come around whenever lights are near. Whenever lights are on, fly swarm. Put that in your notepad.
So to make a long story short, start realizing your triggers. Because you could be somebody that's watching this and you highly triggered. You probably don't be bothering nobody, but stuff online triggers you 24 seven. You gotta get in the dark and work on your shadow self. You gotta work on that. That's keeping you stuck. That's probably keeping you from reaching the next level. How you gonna be maneuvering in the matrix when it's about to get worse and worse and worse? Nigga, these gen, I was talking about Gen Z's. These Gen Alphas, bro. Bro, eventually it's gonna be a training in office. We might have a trainee president. Oh shit. It's red flags everywhere. You gotta secure your kingdom, bro. Protect your energy. Gotta secure That's that. why it's important to take breaks from social media so you can realize all these triggers you have. It's been it's inside of you. You mad at me, but you the only person that feel that. I don't even know you exist. Wow. You mad. <laughs> you okay? Like, bro, you got you got some dark demons in you. You ain't faced your shadow self. That means something's still controlling your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is playing out everything it think your ego wants. It think you want. Mm. Yeah. Protect your energy at all costs. Because I'm trying to tell you, if some people online, and it's going to keep happening more and more and more, they naturally just not going to like you and everything has to do with them, not you. Woo! And it can lower you. It can have you deleting comments. You afraid to see a bad comment. Understand that bad comment is just that person speaking about they self. They, they don't even know you. You ain't got to hide from shit. Do what you want. Tap in with yourself so you can know all the hate coming towards you is the person that hate they self. Mm. Because when you own your shit, bro, if you a man, you will seem since you own your how You not on the frequency of, of, of none of that. Bro, your pheromones is everywhere. It's going to be <laughs> triggers everywhere. You so secure, you already got the willpower to get away <laughs> from all that. So you're not going to be sitting online. <laughs> Complaining about like, last beef jerky, I'm done. Or complaining about only fans all day. Or complaining about women cheating all day. What you got cheated on? Huh? Yep. Is this why you made an account talking about women 24-7? You got embarrassed too. You got cheated on? You got Stupid nigga. Camera. No you awareness. No awareness. Huh? What is it? No awareness. Got God. No awareness. Stupid nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man spiritual soul man <clears throat> spiritual soul man yes sir that's why we do what we do man